What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, we are gonna talk about how I brine up my tuna to use inside of a Brad's Super Bait, AKA the Brad's Medium Cut Plug that I am using up here on Lake Coeur d'Alene for landlocked Chinook salmon. They destroy Chinook, Coho, Silver Sockeye, um, salmon and multiple other different species of fish with these Brad's cut plugs on the ocean, on the Columbia River, down in Oregon, the Maynumqua, the Rogue, um, the Snake River, so many different bodies of water, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, these things are universal and all of them are running tuna inside and today we are going to discuss how I run my tuna and how I set it up to get those extra bites when fishing gets tough. Like, subscribe, and share. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, first of all, the number one thing you're gonna need is a rigged up Brad's Super Bait. And if you wanna learn how to rig up this Super Bait in the previous video on my channel, I set this up for you guys so you can know how to do it for yourself. Go back there, check out the video, as well as the non-slip mooching rig setup on my channel titled Non-Slip Mooching Rig. Please like, subscribe, and share those videos, guys. It really helps me out, it means the world to me. But anyways, let's get back to it. So, Brad's setup, already set up. We have tuna fish in the oil. Having the oil is key to help these brines and scents adhere to the tuna, okay? First off, we have Procure Brine and Bite. I love using this stuff, it's very good, okay? It smells great and has attractants in it, so when you're on the water and fishing does get tough, like I said, this will help you get into more fish. Then I like to use a little bit of anise oil or anise. Um, with this, it has a little bit of krill in it as well to add that little bit of extra flavor for these fish, okay? One container and a fork, obviously to mix. So. We're gonna open up our container of tuna in the oil, just like so, okay? We're gonna grab our container and we're gonna put the tuna oil and tuna into this container, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna grab our brine and bite, just like so. And we are gonna put exactly one tablespoon inside of this tuna. All right guys, so we got our tablespoon for our brine and bite, and we are going to grab some brine and bite out of the container. One tablespoon, this is not a house spoon, this is not a big house spoon, this is actually measured out, scientifically measured out to get the highest amount of performance out of this brine and bite, one tablespoon. So don't skimp on the tablespoon, go pick one up, make sure you're dialed in on your measurements, so then you can adjust from there. If you don't know how much you're putting in, you don't know if you need less, you don't know if you need more, you always wanna be precise so you can go up or down, and it just helps you to catch more fish, guys, come on. So, we're gonna grab one tablespoon exactly, make it flush with the top, just like so, grab your tuna, dump that in there just like that, okay? Then, this is a little bit less precise, with the anise oil and the krill, but you can measure it. So I'm gonna do one squeeze, just like that. One nice little trail. I'm gonna do two squeeze, just like that, same amount of little trail, and three squeeze, just like that, same amount of little trail. So I can dial how much I'm using in. If you wanna go up or down from there, give it two squeezes, or if you wanna go up, obviously give it four, okay? Now, we have the oil, we have the brine bite inside the tuna, and we're just gonna mix it up, okay? Mix it up in that oil, get it a good mix. Also, as you're mixing, I like to run a thinner tuna, and I'll explain why in a moment, but as you're mixing, give it some chops, stab it, break it up, make sure you're breaking up the tuna, separating the pieces so it's small, fine pieces, and I'll explain why here in just one moment. We're spilling a little bit, it's fine. Just like that, okay. Nicely fine chopped tuna with the brine and bite and our anise and krill, okay. So, fork that, put this over here. Why do we want the tuna a little bit fine? Let's, let's talk about it, okay. So, on this Brad's cut plug, as you can see, there's holes and lines in the top, and there are holes in line in the lines in the bottom, okay? And then we have our rubber band. 
When we pack this, I'll pack it for you guys right now and I'll show you why we want it fine, okay? We're packing this nice and flat in here, just like so. I'll get a close up of it here in a second, okay? We're packing this just like this, okay? Thin to win is my motto for this, okay? Thin to win, okay? Get a nice good layer in there. Now, why do we want it thin, okay? Clamp this back down, grab our rubber band. Look at this, a nice layer right there on the bottom of that Brad's cut plug. We're gonna close it up, we're gonna grab our rubber band and we're gonna put it on the back, okay? See how a little bit's coming out the side, a little bit's on the bottom. Now, we want this thin, so when we're pulling this through the water system, little flakes of that tuna and scent can leak out of those holes. That's the purpose of those holes, is to allow water into that sponge that originally comes with this and help your procure or your scent leak out into the water system. But since we take that sponge out, we're running tuna instead of a sponge, we don't want that tuna just packed and clogged up in there. You want it to be able to leak out and move through the water system, so you're providing that scent up to this cut plug as you're moving throughout the water. We're brining this so those attractants and that scent gets into the water so those Chinook or any type of fish you're fishing for are enticed to come up and bite it. So that won't happen as well if you have your tuna too thick and it's not leaking out these little holes like it's meant to do. So that's why I like my tuna thin. So this is how we rig up slash how we brine our tuna for Brad super baits or cut plugs. Again, one tablespoon of brine and bite, three squirts of the anise slash krill. Always make sure you're measuring your stuff out precisely so you know exactly where you're at. So if you want to adjust, you can adjust in case keep note of that, okay? Here's the tuna, really thin, pack it in there, thin to win, so it leaks out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Walking on Water, this how-to episode of how I bright up my tuna fish for Brad's Killer Baits, AKA Super Baits, AKA this cup plug right here that destroys Chinook salmon, as well as any other type of salmon in every water system. So please like, subscribe, and share. Drop a comment. Tell me if you've used these. You catch big fish with these. I would love to hear the stories, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. I will see you in the next one.